YouTube, it's Ashley, back with, you guessed it, another thrift haul, and sorry, just making some minor adjustments with the camera here. So today I actually have two hauls to film, so you'll probably see me in the same uh, shirt a second time, which I'm telling you is like my new favorite shirt. I just bought it um, the day before yesterday? Yeah, the day before yesterday at Burlington Coat Factory, um, and it says... Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. And it's actually a pajama shirt. Uh, it's really long, but I have been wearing it as a t-shirt today because I've just been kind of bombing around and I did some work in the garden, so I didn't feel like putting on a fresh clean shirt this morning. But anyway, uh, that is all beside the point. I have some items to show you from Savers and then a couple items from Hidden Treasures, which is the consignment store that I've been consigning, bleh, consigning with. So um, I'll show you the Savers items first because those actually came first, I believe. And you may recognize this color of Tupperware because I have bought uh, two other pieces in this color, I believe, um, within the last couple of hauls. And I honestly do not know what this container is meant for. Um, it's kind of an odd shape. I'm thinking it would fit in the sink. Um, and then if I was like rinsing off fruit or whatever, um, I could use it for that. And obviously for leftovers or whatever as well. And then this bowl is actually really similar to the one that I got last time. It's a little bit bigger. Um, it, it's not as like curved. I don't know how to really describe it, but it's a different shape. It's a little bit bigger. Um, the cover actually, you can see it better this angle, comes out. So if you had something in there that was just a little bit too high, then you'd still be able to fit it in there with that extra room. Um, yeah, because it doesn't poke down the other way. But anyway, uh, these Tupperware containers, this one was only $1.99. This one was $2.99. So pretty good deal there. And I just realized I should be more excited about calling this because one of these items I've been meaning to use and kind of forgot about because uh, this stuff has been in there for a little while. So the big item that I'm excited to use is this uh, straw trash, trash basket, waste basket. And um, it's not really showing up true to color because it's kind of a bronzy copper sort of color. Um, but it's... It just kind of looks brown on camera. Hopefully you can get some of that metallic sheen when I uh, turn it there in the light. This was $3.99, so I'm going to put that in the bathroom. Um, another non-clothing related item. I got these two skeins of homespun uh, yarn, and it's a variegated brown color, and these were $3.99. And of course, keep in mind, much like the last few hauls that I've done, I did have a 30% off coupon. I've had a ton of them between me donating stuff. My mom gave me a couple from her either bringing my stuff to the donation or donating some of her own stuff. And then when I spend money, I earn them. So I've had a lot of the 30% off coupons lately. I found this really cute bathing suit top, which the brand is F-R-E-Y-A. Never heard of it, uh, but it was only $2.99. And it was really, really cute. So it's got this little bow on one side. It's got red trim and just navy with white polka dots. And it does have a regular, um, actually it's a little different, type of closure in the back. It pops and then hooks together. So I thought that was cute. And I found a couple um, other things in like the bra sort of section. I got a sports bra in like a charcoal gray color. And this is from the Old Navy Active line. It was $3.99. And then I found two bralettes. The first one is actually from Charlotte Russe. But it is still in really good shape. It's like a peachy pink color. Like an apricot sort of color. Uh, and this one was only $2.99. And then I found this one. Which I thought I knew where this one was from. Oh, it's from Aerie. Um, so this one came from American Eagle Airy Collection. This one is a little more structured. It's got pretty thick straps. They are adjustable. Um, it does have little cups in it. 
and then it's just lace. So this is almost more like a sports bra or like a sports bra bralette hybrid. And the straps crisscross in the back and it does have a regular hook and eye closure. And that one, I'm not sure if you saw, was $4.99. And then the last item that I got at that Savers location is this beautiful shirt from New York and Company. And obviously what caught my eye was the collar. And it's just a regular um, structured white button-down shirt. And I figured this would be really cute um, underneath this, a sweater. I cannot talk today. I'm getting all tongue-tied. So I just thought this was really cute. It was only $5.99. And there were no stains or marks on it. So I picked that up. And then, um, actually, this isn't from Hidden Treasures. Maybe I showed you guys that stuff already. I made a trip to uh, Plato's Closet, um, and this Plato's look, ugh, like I said, getting really tongue tied, probably trying to talk too fast. This Plato's Closet location uh, is in Rhode Island, and I had never been to this one before, so I actually brought a lot of stuff hoping to sell items to them, and they were incredibly specific about what they took in. So more so than any consignment shop that I have ever been to, they want things to be in really good condition, obviously. Uh, they want the items to be in style. They would prefer them to have come out within the last year. And one of the biggest things that kept them from taking any of my items or taking most of my items, was the fact that there is a dress barn next door in the same plaza, so they have an agreement or a contract with Dress Barn to say that they will not take any misses or women's size items. And most of my items are, you know, a size 2 or a 4, not a size 1 or a 3 or a 5. You know, I do buy women's sizes. That's what J Crew uh, carries, that's what The Gap carries. Those are some of my favorite brands to thrift. So, a lot of my items were just, um, you know, negated by that one rule. Also, um, they don't want anything that's businessy or, you know, they just want casual sort of garments. So, like I said, they didn't really take much. Uh, they ended up only buying three items off me, which kind of stunk, but it ended up paying for most of what I bought. So, what I did buy was this really cute long sleeve juicy couture shirt which has a cool back to it and I'm trying to remember how much this shirt was oh it still has the tag on it uh, it was six dollars because it was originally 12 and it was half off and then I picked up this pair of jeans that was also half off these are forever 21 I liked them because they've got this um, high-waisted button fly and they're just like a, a legging jean, so they're really, really stretchy. And I liked the wash on them also. And these are, these were $6 also. They were originally 12 and then they were marked down to 6 Oh, and there is some distressing. I'm not sure if you guys saw that when I was moving them around. And then the last item that I got from Plato's Closet is a pair of workout pants. Now, I bought a pair of workout pants from the brand Head. I bought them at Savers, they were brand new, they still had the tags on them, and I didn't wear them for the longest time, they were just sitting in my drawer. Well, I like rediscovered them when I was moving around everything in my drawers, and said, you know what, I'm going to toss these on, they look really comfortable. Most comfortable pants ever. Co more comfortable than any of my pajama pants, anything, they are so comfortable, and they look cute. So I've been kind of on the hunt for similar style workout pants, and these are probably the closest that I've found. These are from Layer 8 Performance brand, and they are just plain black. They're not a skinny leg like the other ones that I've purchased are, but they're not, um, you know, belled or anything like that. They're just like a boot cut, so it's not really obvious that they're not like a skinny leg, and I can always alter them if I really feel like it. And I liked that they had the hot pink inside, which I don't think you'll ever see, but I don't know. It was just a cute little added thing. And these were $10, but they are brand new. They've still got the tag on it. Someone just ripped the price portion off of it. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Overall, their prices were really reasonable. So I'll definitely be back there. I've actually picked out a couple things 
uh, recently in making or trying to make another purge that hopefully they'll take. So I'll make another trip over there and see if they're willing to take any of the items that I've now put together and hopefully they do and I'm sure I'll end up spending my credit again. Uh, the good thing was when I went there they talked about like a frequent buyers sort of card almost like what they do at Savers depending on what you spend but what they do is um, for every $10 worth of merchandise you sell to them you get a stamp. For every $10 worth of merchandise you buy from them you get a stamp and then they also gave me an extra stamp because I didn't ask uh, for a bag or I said I didn't need a bag. So for going bagless you get an extra stamp. So I got a couple of stamps on my card already, put it in my wallet so I'll be able to uh, get some more the next time I go there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Uh, like I said I'm going to end up filming another video in a couple minutes. I have some more items to show you um, and thanks for watching. Have a